Oh, what do we got here? We have a very rare piece of original comic book art. Comic book art? Yep, it's uh, before production, obviously. This is what the artist submits to the comic book. It looks pretty cool. It's got Batman, Spider-Man, and the Joker. It's a collaboration between Marvel and DC Comics. The piece doesn't yet have text, so it's unclear exactly what's going on in the piece, but it has a ton of iconic imagery in the comic book world. Why do you think Batman would team up with a bum like Spider-Man? At least Spider-Man actually has some kind of power. Batman just is a rich guy that works out and has cool little toys. Mm, billion dollar playboy, that sounds so nice. Batman and Spider-Man are two of the most iconic superheroes of all time. The fact that both of them cross paths in this comic is super cool. I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there just dying to get their hands on some original artwork. I've never heard of this one. I mean, what are you looking to do with it? Well, I'm thinking about selling it. Any idea of what you're looking to get out of it? Um, I think that $1,200 is a fair price. $1,200? Um, yeah, buddy, I have no idea, to be honest with you, what, what the thing's worth. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on here. You want me to go call in Johnny? No, nah, man, this is more of like an art thing. Call it Brett. That's a good idea. All right, this is what you called me down here for. A little different than fine art. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Do you know the specifics on this, who the artist was? Yeah, it was uh, an artist by the name of Mark Bagley, who's known as one of the okay. top 10 Spider-Man artists in, in the world. I don't know as much about comic book artists as I do you know, a lot of fine artists, but I do know that he's, he's very well respected and revered in the comic book art world. And if correct me if I'm wrong, I think he worked for both companies uh, for a time. He's correct. Like, he was the, the perfect choice. I mean, it's clear that the ink and the blue lines here, the lining has been laid on the paper. And you've got some telltale signs up here in terms of how it was published. You've got all the notations you'd want to see. You know, it's definitely real. I think to the right collector, you're probably looking $1,500 plus, maybe $2,000. OK. All right, my man, I, the guy's telling me $1,500, maybe on a good day, $2,000 out of it. I'd offer you around $800. 800 Don't beat me up that bad. If it's worth 15, maybe 2,000, I think 1,200 is a fair price. Unfortunately, I'm investing my money in a page out of a Spider-Man Batman comic book and not a really nice mutual fund. I'm gonna put that kind of money out on it. I'm gonna want a good return and go 900. I, I wanna make a little bit more money than that. Fair, I'd take 1,000. All right, man, I'll do 1,000. Thank you. Show me you want to ram up? Yeah. Come on, let's go here. I think 1,000 is fair. In an ideal market, two serious geeks went at it. Could see it going for more, but I feel it's a fair price. <laughs>